Hello Realtor friends. So congratulations, you've made a template. You got your offer all drawn up. Now you gotta go ahead and send this over for signatures from your buyer. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you're gonna be able to send the offer over to the buyer to sign and I'm gonna show you what they'll see on their side. And you're welcome to distribute this video out to them in case they need to understand how digital ink works. And digital ink is a part of your California Association of Realtors membership so you could definitely utilize that and the cost is free so if you have any questions about the templates or the getting the offer drawn up I'll have those links to those videos down below hello realtor friends my name is Adam Baragza I'm with AHS Realty Pros here in Concord in today's video I'm going to show you how to send over an offer to your buyer for signatures and if you haven't seen the previous videos on how to set up a template how to fill out the residential purchase agreement I'll have a link to those videos in the description box below. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the browser. And we're going to go to car.org. Once we're in car.org, we're going to go ahead and sign in right here. Use your login credentials. Sign in to the account. And go ahead and hit access now. Now we're actually in the account on Zip Forms Plus. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're using digital ink. And to do that, we're going to click the little me text right there, right next to the picture, and hit on profiles and settings. And you want to go to where it says settings and choose the top one right here digital ink. This is free, part of your car.org membership and make sure you select a time zone and the other thing you can do is you can go through some of these settings here if you want to go and adjust those and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we save this so that is saved now we can go about sending out this package to the buyer and we're going to go and come down here to the 2032 Rosita Way in Antioch. And we're gonna hit that transaction right there. We're gonna select it. And we're gonna go to Documents. And so I have my cover sheet complete. My residential purchase contract is complete with all the terms here that we discussed in the previous video. And this basically just needs to be signed by the buyer and also by the agent, which is me. So we're going to go ahead and get all the, this signed here. So we're going to go ahead and hit e-sign. And we're going to go ahead and put offer for Rosita. And I put purchase price to be 481 a five day close of escrow and any other terms that you think are important so we're going to go ahead and hit uh, this so we're going to go ahead and have all this filled out now i'm going to go ahead and here and select the marketing conditions advisory right here i'm going to select this and now we're going to hit next and I'm going to go ahead and choose Bob the buyer and I'm going to choose myself as well and in case you have two buyers and they have one email address what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, for example if this was the second buyer I'm just going to show you guys really quick what I would do is I would go ahead and drag the second buyer up here and if they have two different email addresses I would make both of them number one so that way you don't have to wait for Bob the buyer to sign and Daisy to sign. Daisy in our case is the buyer. But we're going to go ahead and uh, delete this before we send this out. But if they were both using the same email address, what I would do is I would make this person the second place. And what you want to do is tell your buyer that you're going to get a package. Once it's signed, wait five minutes and the second buyer would then sign. So. We're going to go ahead and delete 
Daisy here for example purposes. So now I have Bob the buyer and then I'm second. We're going to hit next. And I'm going to say no thanks for this. And the key with digital ink or DocuSign is always be patient. So I always let the document load for a few minutes before I try working on it. It just makes it so much smoother and the computer's not trying to play catch up. So be a little patient. And now if we come down, we can see that some of the signatures are already pre-filled in here. Everything's pre-filled. There's my wire fraud advisory. And if you notice right here, it does not reflect that we put it as a 25 day close. So I can either go back to the document and change it, or what we're gonna do in our case is we're gonna bring over this text box and we're gonna go type in 25 days after acceptance and we're gonna scroll down you can see that the buyer's initial is already put in the right place. Everything on the RPA or residential purchase agreement should be in place. The only document that I know doesn't have the buyer's signature is going to be that California privacy disclosure or advisory. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down a little tiny bit more. All the initials are in the right places. Signatures in the right place there too. And my signatures in the right place right there as well. Buyer's inspection. Advisory has a signature in the right location. And now even the buyer signature on the Privacy Act advisory is in the right place. So this is awesome. And now we have one other form that was attached to this, which was the Mark Conditions Advisory. And if you notice, the date is actually blank here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a date just because I want my offer to be proper. So I'm going to go type in the date, which is going to be 20. So the date is in here now. Bob the buyer. Signatures in the right place. And this is pretty much ready to get sent out. So I'm going to go ahead and type in any additional information I want in either box. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And this is off for signatures now. Now I'm going to show you what the buyer experience is on their side. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to check my email for the signature package. And one thing to keep uh, note of, if you ever wanted to see what's going on with the forms or who signed, you can always do that. And you can go ahead and hit view history. And it lets you know if somebody's actually accessed it and no one's accessed it yet. And if there was a modification or you needed to email this out again, this is where you can do that. So if the buyer says, hey, I didn't get it and you wanted to name this, the actual package or the date and 
do that, you would just hit send and you would resend that package. Another thing that's pretty cool is you can also do a modification and change email addresses if needed um, just by clicking on that right there. And before we go sign, once this is all signed, I can come down here when both parties are green and I can hit download all and I can download both of the forms that I need to submit with my offer. So we're going to go into my email address here. And there is a package right here. I'm going to go ahead and select the option to sign. Hit accept, next. And I'm just going to use my default signature. So Bob the buyer, that's just going to be his initials and his signature. You could also do a custom signature if you like. And I'm going to go ahead and hit go. What it's going to ask me to do is click right here for a signature. Click here for a signature. Click here for a signature. And right there, I'm just going to hit enter. Signature. Initials. Initials, 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 and I'm going to go ahead and hit initial, 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 signature, initial, initial, and we're going to hit initial again, initial there. And the date, the person can change it, or that is the date, and they can just hit enter. And we're going to hit sign this right here. And my progress bar here is indicating something is not signed. There's a last missing initial right there. So everything's finished up here. So we're going to hit finish. Now the nice thing is you got to let your buyer know anytime they sign something that they'll always get a copy in their email once it's signed. And this will uh, be a lot easier for their record keeping. And I can hit close. Now if I go back to my uh, car.org setup here, I can actually go ahead and hit close. And I just want to show you guys something. So if you're ever unsure where something is, we're going to go ahead and hit back. And we're going to go to the e-signature. We can see that we have one package in progress. And that buyer Bob has signed. It's complete. And we're going to now have the selling agent sign. And there is the acknowledgement that they signed. All right, so I've actually waited about five minutes and I have not gotten my package for signatures here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the car.org account here and make sure everything is in the right place. So we can see that the agent email here is correct. This does happen from time to time and it is very, very important to know how to send this out. Okay, so... I actually checked my email. It's been a few minutes and I have not received anything. But there it goes. It took about uh, eight minutes for me to get it. And I was about to show you how you can send out that email that we talked about earlier just by clicking on the person or the party's information and hitting send. But in my case, I got it here last minute but it does happen so you i'm going to show you guys towards the end of the video on how to do this and some helpful tips for navigating r.org and zip forms so now i'm going to go ahead and agree and using my default signature here the thing that i found with the custom signature is a lot of times the line is so thin so when they do print it 
it does not come out very leg legible on copies. So that's why I use the default signature. So I'm going to hit sign, 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 and I'm finished. And there we go, we're closed. And in a few minutes, I'll get a link that has the copies of the disclosures and the offer. And if I wanted to, I can actually access it here by clicking back here, closing this up. And if I go back to my dashboard and go to signatures, I can actually see that this is complete now. So I can click here and I can download each one of these forms, which I'm going to do that right now. And I've set up a little folder here called Rosita. So I'm going to download those forms into here by hitting this download button. And I'm going to go into the Rosita folder and I'm going to call this Find Residential Purchase Agreement. I'm going to hit close and I'm going to download the Market Conditions Advisory. Download, click here. Both of those forms are downloaded now. And if I go back to my main dashboard, I'm going to show you guys how to navigate this when things do go wrong, because sometimes they do. So first thing is, if you ever come into your dashboard here, you can't find your transaction. Go ahead and log out. Or just close the, the browser here. And on the zip forms, you normally cannot hit back. I'm going to go back to my car.org and I'm going to click on the California Association of Realtors to access the account again since I'm already logged in. I'm going to hit access now. And now if we try that same transaction, a lot of times this fixes the bugs in zip forms. So I hope you found that to be a little helpful. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Anytime you're going through a transaction, if you're new, always check with your broker and uh, let us know how we could be of help. Congratulations, your buyer has actually signed the offer. Now we're gonna go in the next video, we're gonna send this over to the listing side. So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll have a link to that video below. If you guys wanna see that, have a fantastic day and let me know how AHS Realty Pros here in Concord can help you grow your business. This is the office here and we provide the support and systems that you need to help your real estate business grow. And besides the 100% commission platform that we offer, we actually really love having fun at our job and I enjoy what I'm doing here. And if you guys wanna come by anytime, feel free, drop by. And we have the no monthly fee right here support systems as you want the training agent idx websites included the mobile app and if you guys want to find out a little bit more visit careers.ahsrealtypros.com and if you're ready to join go ahead and email join at ahsrealtypros and thanks again guys i really appreciate your time today and i wish you all the best